prophet overpraised Jesus the status of God okay. because he's a prophet and messenger of God and he came the same message that all the previous prophets came with which is to worship God alone do not ascribe any partners with him and you should follow the last and final messenger of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him because he came to confirm and to clarify what the Jews accused about Jesus and what the Christians have done with Jesus they deified him yeah, overpraised him well, no we, we love you we may be wrong we may be wrong do you believe yeah, God do you believe God is perfect of course is he perfect in his knowledge of course and do you say that Jesus is God? Of course, as a Christian. Uh, so in, in, in Mark 13, 32, when Jesus says he doesn't know the hour, oh, except wow. the Father. He gave, yes, because he gave in, on, in, his, in his temporal form, he gave up some of his glory. So okay. he didn't, I mean, so he, could, he wasn't, he wasn't on the present either, for example. He wasn't everywhere, as, uh, you know. I'm just talking about knowledge, now. just talking about knowledge. Uh, God yeah, is yeah, all yeah, knowledge, yeah. right? But he, yeah, but I, I can't quite remember where, but Jesus gave up when he came, when he came, when he became incarnate, he gave up some of his glory, including some of his knowledge. So he says, for example, as I think you're quoting, you know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know the final day of judgment. So yeah, he, he doesn't yeah, know. He only, but he knows the final day of judgment. Not now. even the angels, not even the son, yeah, but yeah, the father. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's yeah. It. yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you're saying God temporarily knows everything, but temporarily he doesn't know everything. Well, he well, uh, I understand if I understand correctly, the Christian understanding is he gave up some of his glory, which in, in, in gave up, which included some of his. But do you not think in human yeah. form? But do you not think that that's absurd? Because Almighty God, what, what Allah says in the Quran, Allah says Inna Allah ala kulli qadir. Allah is able to do all things, yeah. but He will not do things that is absurd. He will not do things that contradicts. Well, For example, well, that's what we don't think it's like, we, we don't think that's absurd. Okay, that's so part of his, his yeah. humility. Okay, but the moment God becomes the, God, the moment God becomes a man, he's no longer the creator. He's now part of the creation. Well, that's right, but he, that that. <laughs> That, that so he diminishes that, the attributes of the yes, creator. But, but, but that's part, yes, but that's part of the humility of our concept of our understanding of God. That, that, and, and, the, and, the, and the, going back to the demonstration of his love, that he should, I mean, it was, it was humbling enough that he should become a man. That he was cursed. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, so that's part of his love, he was cursed. That's right, yeah, because he, 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 took, he, <laughs> he, he, took, he took the curse that we deserve upon himself. And that's... Why didn't you take the curse upon yourself? Why does well, Jesus have to? Well, the, because if I did, I'd, I'd go to hell. So, but Jesus did go to hell temporarily. I know, I know. I know to save, and then he came out. To, 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 save, to save us. So are you a sinner? Of course. So he died in vain then? No, no, no. Because he, 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 he died to take the final uh, uh, judgment of, uh, upon himself. So all Christians remain as sinners. We're not, we're not, we, don't, we don't become perfect. We, we, so why did he die for our sins then? Well, he'd be, he, such that such that we may be sanctified. In other words, we, 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 you know, to use the example of the, you know, prodigal son, we turn back from living in the... What happened in the prodigal son story? Well, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, you don't have to ask me. Well, you have the two sons. You have the younger son who, who turns back from and goes back to the father. And you have the older son who we don't know about, who's, who, who, who the father appeals to that he may come back and, and join the father in the feast. And was he sacrificed? Was the prodigal son sacrificed? Well, the, the, well there's, no, the, the, there's no sacrifice uh, 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 other than the fact that it, was, it would have been humiliating for the father to, to leave the house, uh, yeah. to run to the... So, so, what was it, the so, so, so what was the moral of that lesson? Well, it, the... The, 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 it, it, it was costly for the father, but you, we, you have to understand the ultimate cost. That no, was it, wasn't the son forgiven? He was. Yeah, so there was no need for sacrifice. Well, you, you have to read it in the context of the And by the, way, by, by the way, in the Bible, it's mentioned very clearly in, in Hosea chapter 11 verse 9, is that God is not a man. Very clearly. Well... From eternity okay. past, God is no, not a man. No, even even, he, even even blood sacrifice, even human yeah, blood yeah. is forbidden. If yeah, you read yeah, in the, yeah, if you read in Leviticus, yeah. human blood God is forbidden. God is God is ultimately not a man, but God became a man in order to save us from His. Is, okay, so there's a difference between what God is and what God does. Yeah. Okay. So God will only do things that befits His Majesty. So it will not befits His Majesty to become a creation that is weak, that is deficient, because Almighty God. Because Almighty God, all of His attributes are perfect and complete. Yes. For example, God, He is all-knowing. Yeah, He knows everything, including even a hypothetical situation. He knows everything. Yes. Right. Now, it does not. Now, it, now, yeah. now, it is absurd to say that this Almighty God, who is all-knowing, will become ignorant. For example, well, he, he, well, yeah. he gave up some of His divine attributes. 
in 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 okay. it is part of his humility when he when he became man. So he was not always a perfect god. Well, he he was always perfect, but he gave up some of his divine attributes. So you're talking about from yeah, but the, so he was he gave up some of his. I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, what you're yeah. trying to say is you're trying to say that he he chose. Yes. But his nature did it diminish his nature, his essence? Well, he didn't. <laughs> He, did, he didn't. If I, if for example, if I say I'm all knowing, yeah. and I choose to not be all knowing anymore, yeah, then that means I'm no longer all knowing. Well, he for a, for a short time he chose to give up some of his. Divine but was God activism. always all knowing? From eternity past, yes. But if you're saying from eternity past, that means at one point he cannot be ignorant. Well, in, in, in the person of God the Son, but not in the person of God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. Ah, I see. I see. So do you believe that, do you believe that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, they're, they're three separate uh, entities, right? Well, three persons, one nature. Yeah. Okay, I, three persons, but one nature. Yeah. Okay, so does the Father know everything at all times? Yes. Does the Son know everything? Well, he does now. No, 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 I didn't ask you that. I, I, no, no, I, no, no, I, I'm not here to trap, no, honestly speaking, I'm just trying to understand. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. You ask me questions, I'll ask you no, questions. Fair, 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 <laughs> Fantastic. Look, look, if you say, look, if you say that, if you say, if you say God the Father, yeah. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, if they are co-equal, are they co-equal in their essence? In their essence, yes. Yeah, okay, so is the Father, is the Son equal, co-equal with the, with the Father in knowledge? He is now, and he was before he became incarnate. Ah, but you believe that he always existed eternally, right? Yes, okay. from so eternity past. From eternity past. So, so that means God the Father, he knows everything at all times, but not the Son. Uh, I, I, well, I, I think I'm right in saying that we Christians believe that he gave up his omniscience. Why would God give up his perfect attributes? Well, so because it's part of his demonstration of his love and humility towards human beings. I don't see that so, as love and so humility. That, but it, and that's, and that, uh, which is tied up actually with the cross. So that's, he gave up his, if you like, an element of his immortality, such that he, he became, he took on flesh such that he could die. Okay, now, what, does, what does immortality mean? Well, he, the fact that in his body, he became vulnerable, such as he, he gave up his immortality, such that he could die. No, no, what is immor immortality by definition? Well, uh, I would say, well, I'm not sure I give definition, but I'll give you one example. So I'd say, I think we, you know, Muslims would agree with that, that our souls are immortal, but they're not eternal. Our souls, correct? Um, are immortal. Do you do Muslims believe that? We have immortal souls. Okay, what we say, yeah, but do you believe that the soul is created? Yes. Yeah. Human so, all, so Almighty God, he, he, so Allah, we, says, well, he's, yeah, Allah says the Quran. I suppose the difference I'm, I'm yeah. going to get at is that we would say that Almighty God is eternal, whereas our souls are, in, are not eternal, but they're immortal. Okay. If Fine. I, I, I've answered that correctly. Yeah, yeah, I've answered, but, yeah. but then we don't cease to exist afterwards, our right? Our souls don't. No. Yeah, our souls yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm yeah. saying is that, yeah, but, that, but your, your body is that... Uh, that, is that dies. That dies. And then, then we'll either be resurrected so, to... So, Salvation was a joke. So did yeah, God yeah. die in the bodily form? His, his, well, his, his, his body died on the cross, that's right. And, but, and but it says uh, God is immortal, he is immortal. Well, his, that means, all, his, of us, that means yeah. all of us are immortal because... Well, the thing our is, souls are immortal, yes. So that means... They're not eternal, they're immortal. So what's the, diff what's the difference between Jesus and us then? Well, the difference between Jesus and us is that although he took on a human body and a human soul, he retained his divine essence, although he... He gave up some. He gave up some of the attributes of that. So, is the flesh God? Is that divine? Uh, the human flesh isn't God. But isn't the, God? Isn't. But the resurrected flesh is. But the resurrection f flesh is. Yeah, the resurrection body, not flesh. Okay, yeah. but it, so, so there's no divine sacrifice then. Well, there's divine sacrifices in the, in the when he took on human flesh. No, but you just said that the human flesh is not the divine. That well, part didn't die. So what well, was the, so so so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so what, what was so divine about that? Because if you say if you say that the the flesh part is not is not divine, well, well, that means what did he sacrifice? That it means it wasn't a divine sacrifice. Well, it, because, well, it, it was the well, you know, you got me there. But it was because. Do you not think it, the concept? It was it was it was it was it was it was the perfect essence of God that took on human flesh. How is it so, perfect? But how is it perfect that because dying is a is a, is a deficiency? It's a weakness. God, God's attributes are all perfect and complete. 
Yeah, well, and, 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 and all of his all, all of his attributes. Look, look, look. Yeah, do you, do you agree yeah, that you have? Do you agree that you have knowledge? I, would, I, would, I, would, I suppose I put it this way. Go on, go on. He, he, his attributes as a human being were limited but perfect. Does that make sense to you? It makes sense to me. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a paradox. Can I ask a question? Sorry, one second. Yeah. That, that, that's a paradox. Okay. Because that means, do you know what? That means that anyone who claims to be God here can make that claim. Well, you know, I can, claim. that means that I have the human attributes. Yeah. I'm limited, but I'm perfect. Yeah, but yeah, well, okay, it's one thing to claim, but it's another thing to pull it off. Ah, so where did Jesus claim he's God? <laughs> well, I, I would say he, it, it, it's not clear, I would say, I, I, I think you do have a point here, that to Western and Muslim ears, it's not that obvious that he claims himself to God, but I would say, for example, when he says, before Abraham was, I am. I'll give you the, I'll give you the context. I would say that's a claim to God, and I would say, I would say, okay. it's, 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 to Jewish ears, it's much more obvious because that's where they tried to stone him and that's where they tried to kill him okay. because of claims for blasphemy. But I would say, um, with respect, Muslim and Western ears don't hear the claim to divinity as sure. clearly as his original Jewish audience. Sure, yeah. I'll give you the context. You're quoting from John chapter 8 verse 58. I am. So before Abraham was, I am. Yeah. Do you know the context before? Uh, hang on, let me remember here. They're, 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 talking, can, about the, the children, they're talking about the, the children of Abraham. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but okay, fine. You got, this, you got the subject matter right, but yeah. what was it about? Well, that he that wasn't it, they were there. Uh, I, I can't quite remember. Was, was the complaining about him healing on the Sabbath or something like that? Or go okay, remind me. So basically, what Jesus says is, he said, "Your father Abraham rejoiced my days of coming as the Messiah." So the so the Jews they asked Jesus, "You're hardly 50 years old. How do you know this?" So Jesus said, "Before Abraham was, I am." Okay. That is the context. Okay. Now, obviously, as a Christian, you would say, "I am" is a divine title, right? Yeah, and you, you get this, and you get this, saying. and you get this from Exodus chapter three, verse fourteen. Impressive. I've read the Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I went through the Christian school system. Yeah, so I know. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I read the Quran, but you, yeah, <laughs> you know, the Bible, right? the line there, Quran. But in Greek, do you know what is the Greek for "I am"? Uh, ego I me. Ego I me. If you read in Exodus chapter three, verse fourteen, the Greek Septuagint, how does it read? Yes. Well, of course, the, 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 the Greek set, 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 translation of the Hebrew. Is, yes, yes, so, yeah, 200 yeah. years before Jesus. Yeah. Tell me, tell me what it's what ego, I, me, ho, on. Okay. It means I am the being. Oh, well, yeah, okay. sure. So that is the proper context. Yeah, yeah, so, sure, and, and, sure. and, we, we, we recognize that. Right? You recognize yeah, that, right? Yeah, so, so therefore, I am is not the title. Well, the being is the title. Well, 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 well. I mean, I think I'm right in saying, correct me if I'm wrong here, it could, it could be I am who I am, or I will be or I will That's be, not the correct translation. Because if you read in be, Hebrew, or be. if you read in... You could translate if, all of those ways. That's I. not the correct translation. Because oh, if, you, well, if you go back I to the... Taught, though, but the, the, nah. the, the Greek, <laughs> Don't the, Greek worry. the Greek guys who we're, told we're me, learning it. say it could be, it could be, I am who I am, because or it, I could be who I be, or being. Because the Hebrew word, because the Hebrew, the Hebrew passage here is Ehiya Eshel Ehiya. I am the ever living. Not I am who I am. Okay. Well. Yeah. So if you read the Greek scripture, it's ego emi ho on. I am the being. First of all, that that's the proof well, that. We, we, yeah. we secondly, that. secondly, we secondly, if you read in secondly, if you read in John chapter nine verse nine, the blind man he even said I am. Exactly the same construct. Yeah. Right. I can bring it up for you. I can no, bring it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You believe me? Are you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not making stuff up. Yeah. As a Muslim, I cannot lie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you read in John chapter nine verse nine, yeah. even the blind man used exactly the same construct. Yeah, I forgot the beginning, but he says at the end, I am. But what did the translators do? They put a bracket saying, I am the man. Why didn't they do the same for Jesus in, well, in, in, yeah, in John 8 verse yeah, 58? But the difference is... Oh, wait, wait, the correct translation, the, the correct translation should be, I am the Messiah who's been spoken of. That is the context. The difference is, no one tried to stone the man born blind. But people regularly, the Jews were regularly trying to kill Jesus. Do you know why? For blasphemy. Do you know why? For blasphemy. They don't believe he's the Messiah. Well, they, they're That's not, why. They, well, they no, no, believe, no, 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 they're not the Messiah they wanted. They did, they, I mean, they did, they, I mean, they, they did send him. Yeah, but Jesus did not, but the thing is, Jesus never claimed here that he is God. Because he didn't say, he didn't 
say that I saw Abraham. He never said that. He said, Abraham rejoiced my days of coming as the Messiah. So now the Jews, they said, but you're hardly 50 years old. So Jesus then said, before Abraham was, I am. Well, now what? Right. What? So therefore, this is this is the consist this is the problem consistency. When you read in John chapter nine verse nine, the blind man used exactly the same construct. Oh, yeah, but they don't try to kill the blind man. Do no, they? no, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, why is it? Well, uh, the, the, the point is, there's a lack of consistency because I am is an incomplete statement. I am here meaning I am the man. If you read in John chapter 8 verse 58, why didn't they do the same? Why didn't they give the context of saying I am? So therefore the correct translation should be before Abraham was, I am the Messiah that was spoken about. Okay, that's what and that's, that's, why, that's why the Jews find, yeah. uh, that's okay. why the Jews find the Christians blasphemous. They don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. In fact, I don't know if you read John's gospel. I don't know if you read John's gospel. I have. Were the Jews, were they, were, were they sure of what, who Jesus was? Well, I would say virtually no one was sure who Jesus was until after his <laughs> resurrection. What? No, yeah, before so, that. Before yeah, that. No, I would say no, I would say no, even the disciples. Even yeah. the yeah. didn't the disciples, disciples even the disciples deserted to Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that's right? right. Because yeah, yeah. they say that uh, the words of Jesus are so esoteric, it's so well, unclear. It's because then it's not it's not the Messiah that they were hoping for and expecting. Of they, course. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. So that, that so therefore so that's, that's the lack of consistency. I mean, I, as, I guess you guys may know, that's why even to this day at the Passover which ha must be happening around this sort of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jews still set a uh, empty chair in there at their Passover festival, and the eldest uh, man and the, or the eldest son in the house goes to the door to see if Elijah's there because they're still expecting yeah. their Messiah. Song and Paul, are you doing good? He's better to speak to. I'm, I'm poor when it comes to Christianity. He's very good. He's very good. But what I'm trying to say is that, look, what I tend to find with Christians, Christians always try and find the ambiguous statements when it comes to the divinity of Jesus. But the Christians never ever looks at the most clearest statement that Jesus made. If you read in John chapter 17, verse 3, it says, This is life eternal, that they may know you, the Father, the only true God. And Jesus Christ whom we have sent. So who is the only true God to come to Jesus? Well, <laughs> we would, we, yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. But we would, I mean, our, our counter to that would be the context of John as a whole. And we, I mean, I, we may be wrong. I mean, I, fair, fair enough, I hear what you're saying. And I do, I mean, you, you're, you are causing me to you know, think and reevaluate. So fair, fair to come. But I mean, we, you know, when you have those you know, famous I am sayings, when say, I am the way. The it's only John's gospel. You wouldn't find that in the synoptic no, 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 gospel. That is true. But we would say, you know, that, that what Jesus says in John 17 has to be taken in the context of John as a whole. I know the context. So what's the context? Um, and we, we may be wrong. Father, the we hour has come. Glorify me as a glorified. So I know the context. <laughs> yeah. if, look, if, you, if, we, you, if you believe, if you believe, look, 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 if you believe that I'm misquoting, we, no, no, no I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay. I'm just saying, I, I'm, I, I mean, you're making a fair Do you know point. what St. Augustus did with this, with this passage? Because that contradicts the concept of Trinity, what he did is he he actually changed the order. So he included the only true God with the Son. Why did he do that? Well, we would we would say that statement has to be included in you know, the context. Of but that's not what he's saying in the Greek. So what 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 uh, what Saint Augustus did? He translated in Latin and he changed the order. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he changed it. Yeah. Why did he have to do that? Well, I. I think I'm right in saying that the, more, you know, the current English translations is from, not from the Latin, from the Greek. Yeah, yeah and yeah. if you read all the versions, yeah. it's very consistent. The only true God, because I've got the NRSV, I've got the KJV, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the yeah. NIV, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, right? no, 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 I've got the KJV. No, all of the, all of them no, no, say no, I, the only true God is the Father. I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying, but we would say you have to read that in the context of John as a whole. Then give me the context. 